We also have several new developments tonight in that devastating fire that burned through an apartment building in Queens, leaving hundreds of people without a home. We learned today a worker using a blowtorch started the fire, and tonight we're learning there could soon be criminal charges because of that. From the scene in the Sunnyside section, here's Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon. A sidewalk shed is going up tonight. The first step on a long road of repair work needed to make this building a home again. The FDNY's fire marshals have determined that a renovation contractor using an unauthorized blowtorch to remove lead paint started the fire on Wednesday. They were authorized to do some work in the building, but not that work. And then tried unsuccessfully to stop the spread. They thought the fire had been put out and it wasn't until it got bad and people actually started smelling the smoke and called. Uh, that we arrived and the fire was significantly advanced. Kathleen Kim smelled that smoke and grabbed her keys and coat. I just finished wrapping a mountain of Christmas presents and I have an eight year old who's wondering what's going to happen on Christmas. So and I'm sure all these other families are in the same position. The community has been helping those devastated families. A neighborhood veterinarian was quick to provide emergency care to a cat who survived a six story jump from the burning building and at the local state assembly member's office. Toothpaste shampoo, conditioner, all things that are essential. Personal care items and socks are available for those who had to leave everything behind. Right now we also want to push for hot meals for these families and hopefully we can get their stay extended throughout the holidays. Their best hope is with a fundraiser organized by Sunnyside Community Services. That goes directly to the families, 100%. 88 families have registered with the Red Cross as of tonight, which is also looking to extend their stays in hotels since the weekend and Christmas are fast approaching. The extensive water damage throughout the building means it's still not safe to let any of the residents back in to see what they can salvage.